Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I completely, should I take my little, do you know what, I'll keep it on. I'll keep my little star patch thing on. Actually, basically I started filming this video um, yesterday. It's gonna be me decluttering my wardrobe, but honestly, I'm having to do it over two days because it honestly just took so much time. I think everyone does it like, bit by bit but i was like no i'm just gonna do all of it it's like a weird split in the video it's because i did all the sectioning yesterday and then i'm gonna be doing like try-ons and final decisions things like that today i already have a big bag of clothes like that i've previously decluttered sitting they're all on my vintage by the way my vintage is gonna pop up on the screen like a million times throughout the video it'll be in the description because girl take my clothes from me i'm begging for someone to give some of my clothes a bet home big job on our hands guys and by we i mean me thank god i already did half of it yesterday because honestly i don't know how i would have coped also i've like lost my mascara somewhere how do you lose a tube of mascara it's like i don't even understand but anyway i pretty much only do my eyebrows and my mascara every single day that's like my obviously apart from like skincare and that that is my like go-to look so i feel so naked without the mascara so please please excuse like the lack of lashes right now because i keep saying what i'm gonna do and i've already done it what i already did like the blue peter the art attack here's one i made earlier kind of thing I basically sectioned all my clothes into categories. So I think I had like dresses, like trousers, tops. I had like a bunch of different categories basically. I think we ended up with like six or seven different categories. Um, and then within those categories, I split everything into three piles. So I did like immediately keep want, no question about it, going back in the wardrobe. Why did I even bother lugging it out? Um, I did category where immediately go in on Vinted. I'm already wanting to sell it. I think there was a couple items that I already had put on Vinted that had just somehow crawled the way back into my wardrobe. Don't know how. Um, and then the third category, which I think was like the biggest sorry, the third pile, which I think was the biggest in each category, was that I need to style this, I need to try this on, I need to see how I feel, basically. Colours, I think, are going to be a big one for some of the categories. Like, what is not going to, you know, make me look more washed out? Like, I can only buy so many bottles of that Dove self-tan moisturiser before my bank account is like, girl, what are you doing? Especially now that World Coast closing and they always have the best offers on that big bottle my vintage is going to hopefully be like all over the screen at different points of the video it will be in the description as well so if you do fancy any of these pieces that you see they will be on my vintage right i already need a sip of coffee number one these jeans love these jeans quick fire ones but joggers you can't have enough joggers so enter i'm gonna keep I love these shorts but I just have a really really hard time fitting into these shorts so unfortunately I actually think I'm gonna have to get rid of them they don't even have a brand on them you know so we've got these shorts next I bought these in Poland and I'm gonna keep these like one of my favorite pairs of trousers so simple definitely keeping those ones with these I really really love this pair so this is a definite keep as well that's popper joggers how to style these because these are not ones that i reach for very often i love these i got these off vintage with like a massive matching t-shirt for literally i think like two pounds there's some gel gems that have fell off all i'm gonna do is stick them back on and just take more care when washing them and wearing them love <laughs> when these little gems fall off though it leaves like a little trail behind it's like a little you know a, a, a hansel and gretel if you will like a, a more girly more camp sort of hansel and gretel even little gems behind everywhere do you know what i mean these shorts i recently bought off vintage for like an outfit um for a festival i was meant to go to they didn't arrive in time anyway i do have an outfit in mind already and i've got a potential event lined up which i could wear them to but i'm just gonna have to like double check and just style them i love these these are handmade in Affleck's palace in manchester where's easy keep you definitely need to style these ones i think i just need to try on to see if they fit i just keep them because i think this was like one of the nicest things I ever like bought for myself when I first got paid. Bought myself a pair of Dot Martins and then I think these because they're from ASOS and I would not have been earning. Keep 
they're just a pair of basic straight leg jeans. I am gonna maybe try them on and style them. But I also really love the material, the lacquer cord sort of material. Keep, especially for autumn, especially with me starting working in an office. I mean, it's a very casual office, but you know me, I'm gonna be overdressed a lot. So everyone used to laugh at me when I was wearing these jorts when, what, like my second year of uni. And now look, now everyone's bloody wearing jorts. Everyone and their mum and the dog and the nan's wearing jorts. Everyone's stealing the dad's jorts and bloody putting them on with high heels and calling it high fashion. So there you are, to all the people that laughed at me. These are a keep though. It's just these for like going on um, interviews and things. Um, and I love them. They do cause me some bad luck though. Every single time I've been out with them, like out in them, it's chucked it down to the point where I come back and these are like soaking wet. I loved these, these past year. So I think this is gonna be a keep, even though like the color of them right now is scaring me. So this is how we're looking. That is the keep pile, which is not great because it's the biggest pile. Or maybe it is great because at least I know with things that I like like to wear. I'm gonna get rid of the pile, which is again, not amazing that there's only one pair of shorts there. Quite a few pair of trousers and style them. Um, but I'm glad I actually have that many to try on and, and style. ones I actually thought I was gonna have to give more bit of a more like styling jobby to but I actually think they're quite cool just even with this t-shirt I think they are actually very flattering on the waist so I'm gonna keep these ones I'm in a bit of a weird situation with because I don't really tend to wear joggers like out of the house literally got I think three other pairs of joggers so I'm just thinking like to be fair I feel like I could wear this out the house like She's very casual, isn't she? Now I'm gonna keep these ones, you know, I'm gonna keep these ones. So here's the situation with these pink like cord flares. I don't really reach for these ones. I would prefer if they were like, maybe, you know, like squeezed in a bit like that there. I think I might keep them and just give them a bit of a chance. These ones are great. I don't know why I don't wear these ones often, like more often. Shorts were literally bought from Vinted a few weeks ago and I was meant to wear with this top for cream fields but I didn't end up going to cream fields anyway at the time I thought these would like these would look really cool together but I just don't think these shorts are made for me and I really wish that long line shorts were because I don't really like proper short shorts all that much we're gonna get rid of these I've kept five I'm getting rid of two so these are the ones that I originally said getting rid of straight away because they're too small for me and then these ones. I'm actually so sad about these ones. They're from River Island originally. Again, I bought these off Vinted, but they're so soft. Like they're literally buttery. Also forgot to show a pair of linen trousers, but they are a keep. Uh, I've just found them in my wardrobe and I was like, shit. Do you know when you put like, when you hang multiple things on one hanger, like when you've got trousers or like a dress or something on like that part of the hanger and then you've got like a shirt or something over it. And I saw them and I was like, well, they're a keep. So there's not even any need to go back and show you them. We're gonna be onto skirts now. That's the pile for the skirts. I don't know if you can actually see. I'm not even gonna attempt to lift that up. I've not been to the gym for like probably, I was gonna say years, but probably like months. I went to a few classes a couple of months ago with my mum, so I don't know if that counts. Start off with this one, which was already in the back of my wardrobe. Um, but I am, I, I, it's actually already on my Vinted. So yeah, this one I'm giving away. It's really beautiful. It's like this low-waisted um, knot. I might actually try on all the things that I'm putting, giving away on my Vinted as well, potentially. Um, or I might just try this on just to show you. It's so beautiful. I just don't suit low-waisted things. This one I used to love, and I, I even bought like a second blue version of this when I was like in college, I think. Um, but I don't know, I don't really reach for it, so I am going to have to style it. It's a recent find in a charity shop and I love it. Again, this is another recent vintage find and this is a key. This one I bought in a charity shop, like, I think like last year maybe or maybe at the start of this year. But I am actually going to have to style it. I think I have styled it a few times, but I'm going to have to just style it and see if I do 100% like it. Gorgeous denim skirt. This one is definitely a keep. 
This one is so cute. Again, I bought this in a charity shop. I say it's a defo keep, but I don't know whether to try and style it as well because again, I just don't reach for this one as much as I like would think. Actually, a pair of trousers. Um, I forgot to include them in the in the last one, but they are actually like a kind of like a skirt shape, so it's not cheating, I guess. Yeah, I bought these with um, my auntie and my mum. Like we all have like a matching pair. I love this skirt. This one is a keep for sure. Blue version of that other skirt. Is this one damaged? This one's actually not damaged, I don't think, but I'm gonna have to style this one again. A bit of a weird one. I almost gave this one away at one point and then I wore it with like a nice outfit and then I was like, oh, I'm keeping it. Not worn it since wearing it with that nice outfit. I have to be a try on again. These skirts, I love me like an oversized, like long skirt, but I just, I don't know. I'm, again, I'm going to have to try this one on. I think this one will look nice with like a white t-shirt. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have to try it on. Like, this is a keep. It's like my more, most worn skirt, I would say. It's from Peruna. We've got this one. This is a bit of an interesting one because I do wear this often on nights out. Well, I did wear it often on nights out, but literally not been out for so long. It doesn't really suit me, like it's meant to be low waisted and I have to kind of try and wear it high waisted and then it's a bit short, but I think I am gonna keep it just for the sake of like having something to wear if I do get caught up to an event or a night out, get caught up, as in like if I have an event to go to, not like I'm gonna be bloody performing, but I think I am gonna keep it just for, for now at least. Skirt, this is easy, it looks so creased, but it's a keep. I love this one as well. This is just such an easy keep. So this skirt I got in Italy when we went to Kappa Festival last year with my friends. It's like a wrap skirt. Um, I don't know if you can quite see that, but I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, so the test for all the skirts, I think is pretty much gonna be this t-shirt. That's how I usually wear my oversized, uh, like maxi sort of mini skirts with just a t-shirt. So I think this is gonna be the base test. And if they don't pass this, I don't know what they're gonna pass. With this one, I don't know why I haven't, actually I do know why I've not been wearing this one because I always used to think this looks so creased that it needs ironing every time. But now I've just learned that if most of my clothes look creased, then like, they all look all right. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. So with this one, I actually do really like it. I actually think it would suit more of like a tucked in. I don't know why I haven't worn it in so long because I've literally had this since I was in college, but I am gonna keep it. I do think it's like a very flattering style. I've had this one for like literally years um, and I just stopped wearing it for a bit, but I actually do quite like it with like a little t-shirt. This is how I would wear it. So I think I might, like keep it for now. Okay, I'm really sad about this one because I actually really love the skirt and maybe it doesn't look too bad on. It's just the shape of it is just too like business wear for me. I'm not liking the way it looks on me. It's a beautiful skirt, but I am gonna give this one away on Vinted. Okay, so this one is like a bit of a different shape toward them. I do think it's interesting. I don't know if it's like 100% flattering, maybe if I... No, I actually do like it. I think I am gonna keep this one as well because it's like very basic black and white leopard print. Yeah, keep the skirt on to stop me constantly changing into my black dress, but we did less well on that category, like trying to get rid of stuff. So I've kept obviously, um, I've kept this skirt and then I've kept literally pretty much all the skirts that I said I was gonna try on. This one was the one that was originally like the, you know, the evicted the poor little evicted skirt she's beautiful by the way on my vintage and this is also on my vintage if you're interested i love this skirt i wish this looked better on me I've done it again and she's forgot to include one of the skirts but it was a skirt that was a recent vintage buy and it's a keep <laughs> on to dresses now this is the pile for dresses and this was actually a dress i wore to one of my birthday meals this year I say that like I had 20 million. Um, I just had like three <laughs> with family, friends, and then the boyfriend. Um, and I do like it. I like the shape of it. I wore it recently as well to Barbie with a t-shirt, but I'm gonna have to try it on like just on its own. But it's literally the exact same pretty much as this dress. They are both from Vinted, by the way, if you're curious. And again, was in my wardrobe, but um, it should have been in my Vinted pile slash bag. It's so nice. It's literally beautiful. I bought it at the same time as I bought that the one that I actually ended up wearing for one of my birthday meals. I just hate it on me. 
it will be on my vintage. I just don't know if I'm like into the, now that I've put it on though, I am with like a belt. I'm gonna have to try this one on and it's just like a velvet long bodycon, um, high slit dress. I wore it for my graduation ball, graduation ball, got like a met. Um, gala themed graduation ball, all the fashion girlies and gents. And I wore that to it and it's literally stunning. I think if I ever had, obviously like another big event, I don't know if I'd wear, actually, do you know what? I probably would wear this again because it, it was just so lovely. It's going into keep. I don't think I suit collars when they're like closed up. I just don't, I don't know. We will try it on. I'll put it on the style pile because I haven't tried it on in a while gonna keep this one um it's inside out again but i wore this for my graduation and if there's one tip i can give you is don't wear a big poofy dress for your graduation because them gowns that they put on you are so unflattering just wear one that's more tight bodycon this is interesting and this is a jumpsuit i wore this for my birthday i think like two years ago um it's like this satiny like slinky material i have to try it on because i'm not sure i think it's a super easy keep it's just this like leather bodycon really short skirt um, skirt dress she is the moment this dress i wore for my birthday like bottomless brunch when i was with my friends and for my party i ordered it from asos like earlier this year and honestly as soon as it came and i put it on because i wasn't sure about it i was looking for a dress for my birthday for so long that's why i bought so many like the two pink ones because i just couldn't find anything that i felt like great in such a birthday dress i got a free shot from wearing this dress um from the lovely lady that works at the bottomless brunch i'm sure everyone does on their birthday um at that place but she said straight away she was like are you the birthday girl because i was wearing this <laughs> this arrived me and my mom when i put it on me and my mom were both like yeah this is literally like a dress you know one of them them like dresses or items of clothing where you're like that is literally like made for me that is sewn for me i think anyone who would wear this dress would look absolutely stunning in it because it's just the dress like itself i've not even lost like any of the sequins which i'm so surprised about like the quality of it is great uh, this is the dress that i wanted to wear for my graduation and i would have felt so much better in but of course i forgot to pack it with me and take it to manchester this is a definite keep and i probably will be wearing it again for my birthday next year this would be a good one to have and I need to try it on and I think compared to some of the other bits to see which one I would like more likely wear. Which I think I should try this one on. Oh, but I actually think this will be a key. This one I um and are about so much, it's so perfectly at the time. But now I'm like, I don't know if this colour washes me out a bit with the dark hair. An easy keep. I love this one. It's also good with like a t-shirt over the top. That's why I like this one because it's multifunctional. Give it a go. I'll try it on. It's Say the magic words, Liv. I am going to have to try this one on. <laughs> Doing quite well with the dresses. That is the keep pile. And honestly, there's only like five or six dresses, I think, in this pile um, that I'm keeping. Um, for sure, obviously. We've got one that we're definitely getting rid of, which again, I'm not doing well in that section. I'm, I, Like I said, I'm very much on the fence. and I was going to be better today and I'm not. Um, and we have literally a mountain of them to try on. My mirror is going to be over here. If you catch me looking over to this side the whole time, it's because I'm looking at myself in the mirror. So I'm actually really disappointed in because I remember when I bought it, I was obsessed with the way that I looked at it. But I don't know if my body shape's changed a bit or maybe it's the hair colour. I think I was... Was I blonde at the time? It's just the shape on me. I just don't think it looks very flattering on me, to be honest. So I think this one deserves a new home. Actually super surprised with, just because I thought I wouldn't like this. I think maybe it's the tattoos, you know, that have just like elevated it a bit. I think the moment you have tattoos, I mean, for me personally, anyway, I just think they're like your best accessory ever. So I actually really like this one. Please ignore if you can see like, a bra strap sticking out somewhere. This does need buttoning up at the back, but I am on my own at the moment. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm really surprised. I do really like the way that this looks on me. I think this jumpsuit is so super flattering. It's got like the cut out back and like the little bum ruffles. So it is very flattering, the low cut. For me personally, it's just, um, 
just the fact that <laughs> this is obviously meant for a night out right i'm not turning up to like a casual little walk in the park in this i am like the worst at weeing on a night out i drink loads at pre's and then i break the seal that's why i've not really worn it all that often i think i might have to sell this one with a very heavy heart i don't know we'll keep it for now it doesn't take up that much room i'm gonna style this one over like a t-shirt chuck a belt on it but I just am gonna say no. Now that I've put it on just on its own, I actually think it's good. Love this one. I love the like pattern. I don't know if it's like gonna give it off on camera, but the pattern makes it super like flattering. I'd want it more like this though, I think. I think that would be quite flattering, like a square neckline. Keeping this one for sure. I'm gonna keep this one. Uh, this is more of like a meal jumpsuit, I would say. Hair is literally gonna look crazy by the end of this. I actually think I did pretty well there, considering. I've chosen to keep five, or is that cheeky six? That might be a cheeky six there. This one that I was already gonna get rid of, I mean, it's already on my vintage. Um, and then one, two, three. So we've got four in total that I'm actually getting rid of out of like my whole dress collection, which is all right, it's pretty decent. Again, if you do want any of these dresses, jumpsuits, clothes that you see, my vintage is on the screen, my vintage is in the description. We are going to be on to what I'm calling things with zips, buttons and like little lace things at the front. This is a keep. I love this. This is one of my like autumn essentials. I think I'm going to do a video on like autumn essentials and things like that. So let me know if you'd want to see that video, but she is one of them. This is a recent purchase from Vinted. You will have probably seen this if you follow my TikTok, but she is the vision this is interesting because i actually put all my white shirts up on vintage on the same listing i like it i think it can be layered really nicely i love this this i wear this all the time there's no even point of explaining it i think i'm like back into this now um so i think i'm gonna style it similar nature we have this but this one i'm like less sure about to style and then we actually might have to get rid of potentially we'll see shirts galore they're all vintage by the way these ones that i'm showing you right now they were all literally bought in the same period of my life I am going to style it again though. I think this might be the first thing I ever bought on Vinted. I even wore it to the library, I think, one time, which was very professional of me. I actually DIY'd this the other day. This was like long sleeve. I am definitely keeping this, so the tag will be coming off. Again with these shirts, I think I'll probably keep it anyway. It's a bit of a random one because it's from a charity shop. It's from originally BHS and I do really like it. It's just that the buttons stop at kind of like an awkward length for me and there's like no option to button up any further. So I'm gonna have to try this one on. Underneath we've got this linen shirt, that it's defo a key. Then there's this, which I love styling like over things. I think it looks really cool, but I actually don't know if I'm that in love with the material of it anymore. You know, it's giving like catch of the day type of vibe. It's giving she's going on a boat for five hours. I'm gonna try it on, but I don't know if there's just like a better version I can buy of this. I said no cardigans in this section, but yeah, here we have a cardigan and I think this might be one of two cardigans that I own. So you're gonna see a row cardigan somewhere. Try it on. I don't know, does it look good with my brown hair everything's about the brown hair when we know like i'm probably gonna bloody bleach it blonde in like three weeks easy keep it's a recent purchase this we love her our one pound lace vest from vinti is a keep my little chef shirt love it this denim vest she's a keeper got this she's also a keeper she just needs dry cleaning i do think we've done pretty well again um this pile looks bigger i think it's because that massive poofy jacket is underneath it might be bigger to be fair i'm gonna keep this one i think this is an easy keep this one again i think is actually pretty cool i think i am gonna wear it like with a dress underneath as well and like you know do a couple of the buttons up and have it be it's just giving very granddad vibes and i really like that I like this too i don't know what's wrong with me i think i just need to start wearing these things more. I was going to get rid of this because the material is a bit of like a, a weird one but I actually really like this. It is giving a bit fishing vibes and I think maybe eventually I might upgrade this like maybe eventually I'll get like a car heart or like a Nike one or something but I think for now we'll keep it. We'll keep this. I thought it was going to be a bit too oversized but now that I've tried this on I do think it looks quite cool. I also know it looks really good with like short skirts like buttoned up so I do think I am going to 
leave this i really thought i was gonna get rid of it but like why do i really like it but again i thought this would be like an easy get rid of just because i've got the same well similar shirt but just oversized but i actually really like the way this more fitted one look i didn't do well in that section at all i kept everything but it was nice to like try things on and be like oh yeah i can pair this with this so we're on to like the jumpers and the sweaters we're almost at the end i think i hope we've got this jumper which is actually a charity shop find it's actually from collusion though originally love the color again it's like a bright color but it's more muted however i do need to try it on because i'm not sure about the length of it this is the next thing that i've got this little cloud jumper and i literally almost gave it away to one of my friends like years ago only over a cardigan <laughs> I am going to keep this one probably my favorite item or one of my favorite items ever that i own and it's literally the most simple oversized carhartt men's jumper and she's an easy keep then the next thing we've got is like a slazenger jumper now i'm pretty sure this is my boyfriend so if i say get rid of i feel really really tight i am gonna have to try it on indeed my mom gave me for christmas a few years ago i think her brand is han co uh it's i think she was a uni student and when she graduated she started her own like brand brand by the way if anyone's interested it's just like han but i think i will keep this just because it's literally i think the only or one of the only hoodies that i actually own living in the uk and only having like one or two hoodies and one coat with a hood it's just i am not okay i've had this for years right and i think if i saw this on vintage i would literally buy it now so tell me why i never wear it i don't think i remember one time where i've worn this i'm styling this finally i'm styling this this again i think is a boyfriend real but i'm pretty sure this one got given to me right so if i want to sell it i can sell it we just need to try it on this is my only other hoodie and i actually really love this hoodie it's like a massive oversized balloon sleeve sort of hoodie she's getting kept she definitely has like a cigarette burn on the sleeve so not classy but final item the story of this i bought this during lockdown the first lockdown in 2020 for 50 pound i bought it from depop so you know the sellers on there are crazy 50 pound for this reebok jumper i've put the piles so far away this time but we did pretty good because we actually i think have less things for just full on keep than we do for try on because i didn't think i'd like it but why do i actually like this jumper i know a pair of trousers that i thought would work but i actually don't think the color works the fit of this is good it looks it's like it's men so it's very baggy and oversized i should know what trousers to pair this with for me it's just the fit of this one like i don't like the way it sticks out here i don't like where it ends on me like maybe like if you had it okay that doesn't look as good but like when i'm holding it here this looks better it's just am i gonna wear this probably not so i think i'm gonna have to give this one away be surprised because every time i try this song i'm like i actually like it i do it a bit disney like from far away like you know like the castle and then the shit like over the top of it i love the fit of this on me i really like the fit of this so i might keep this for now this one's giving a bit like it's getting a bit prison jumper isn't it but why do i actually not hate it i think it's the the fit that i like don't hate so it fits like this if you were to just pull it down which isn't ideal but then i if you just tuck that bit under and then put the little band like the waistband into your trousers a little bit i actually think that looks really cool this one she do be so cute i don't know why i thought about getting rid of this one i'm gonna keep this one i love the fit of this one i feel bad that i ever doubted this one i'm gonna keep this one <sighs> weird one the actual fit of this is like crazy like it just doesn't suit me i don't think <laughs> like proper long line when i took it it does look pretty cute I believe it is like a little lounging about in sort of jumper I'm keeping five of them which is fine I'm actually quite chuffed that i'm even getting rid of two because i thought this one might be the one where i like keep everything just for the sake of like i said just for the fact of oh i need jumpers it's autumn winter time now but these will both be on my vintage 
we are almost at the finish line oh my god has it been a journey i didn't think i'd make it Look all this like little tops t-shirts tops in general tops adjacent and rave wear tops you just need a few t-shirts don't you so this is one of those few t-shirts it's getting kept i've got two of these so i feel like one should go they're pretty much the exact same thing I've got this which i have actually worn quite a lot it's too cropped the v-neck is too like gaping open so i think this actually will have to be a sale on vintage you have this top which i love just an easy easy keep um, from Vinted and I really I was just this is a proper like micro trend I think but I do want to keep it because I just do like the vibe of it an easy one she's a keep I think I've got a few more bandos in here but this one is like the only sparkly one that's like really nice for a night out so I'm keeping this for sure I don't know it's a sex skateboards t-shirt and I feel like this is the sort of thing that I would just be wearing all the time why am I not wearing it all the time it's going on my vintage with another bra she's top class recent vintage purchase she's staying i don't know about this one i think i'll keep it for now actually so we'll be trying it on see what i can do with it this is one of the other bandos i was on about that will be kept it's being kept this is one of my favorite tops ever it says girl power and i got it from italy this little guy in his shop with his dog just hand printing these all day a weird one because i really love this i bought this handmade from like some lady on instagram a few years ago i think i wore it to park life and i wore it to cafe festival i mark this year and she and all these bloody places jumped on it and like you know were selling them for like pennies and it kind of like cheapened this to me this is kind of like vintage i think is it mariah carey in that photo where she's got one of these on with jeans so it is kind of like the y2k 90s vibe i might just keep it like just as like a little keep so we have like a boss battle so i've got two of these pretty much identical tops i mean the shape of them the cut of them is identical they're like upcycled reworked tops from uh we are cow but i don't know which one to keep so we're gonna have to try both of them on t-shirt this is a pretty easy keep crocheted by someone on vintage but the sleeves are just mega mega long i'm gonna have to assess whether the sleeves piss me off a bit too much if you know what i mean this is meant to be a matching skirt to that um little top that i diy'd and showed earlier i'll keep this one my pulp fiction top this was i think the first thing that i bought for myself in manchester in urban outfitters is my little rave bra it is way too big for me i wish my boobs were that big but i do just wear it with like another bra underneath anyway um also got fake tan all over her so that is another reason that i might be able to sell it or like give it to charity i don't mind wearing it because i know it's my grubby fake tan so this is a keep we love this top it's like a little bandana type top we love this top she's a keep and it's it's been purchased from the devil that is she in during that lockdown stage i think maybe we try it on and just see what what we feel like it's actually a dress but i left it in here because it's tops adjacent this is why i said tops adjacent top i think i'll keep just because i really don't have any long sleeve tops we've got this like mesh sheer floral kind of layering piece now that i'm like putting it up to my skin i am thinking what the hell am i doing not wearing this because it's it's so nice especially as like a a layering piece I'm gonna have to try it on right shout out to my nan who sat and crocheted this for me beautiful little festival top i was gonna wear it to greenfields didn't go to greenfields in the end which is a bummer love this keeping it a little bit tangled up but basically this is an easy keep too this is one of my friends who crocheted this for me this little smiley face bra where i'm struggling to get rid of it because i love the shape of it i don't wear it and then even when i put it on it doesn't feel right like it feels very like childish if that makes sense so this will be up on my vintage she's super cute super easy love this little detail there it's a keep came with this top it was actually bought at a yard sale just before i moved out of my last uni flat keep this one it's just a really nice hot neck top out oh, um my pizza co t-shirt if anyone went to man there you know all about pizza co I 
I did a bit better on that category than I thought I would. I disappoint myself with keeping both of those like very similar um, kind of fairy core cool rave clothes, but I don't really buy new rave clothes. Literally these pieces I've had from Creamfields 2021. So I don't, and this I think I've had from 2020. All the other pieces that I've got for rave wear, I've literally had since I've started going raving. And then this is the get rid of pile. Obviously a significantly smaller pile, but I am quite not like proud of myself because obviously I probably should have been like getting rid of more things. I need to get rid of these because the things that like either don't suit me or annoy me or I don't need both like copies of the item. These are our ending stand-ins. So that is our keep pile. Obviously it's a lot bigger than our get rid of slash obviously sell and vintage pile. I also don't think it helps. I shoved this one up in the corner and then I spread this one out because this looks much bigger. Obviously there is a lot more clothes in this one, but I actually think I did okay. I actually don't think I did too bad in the end. I've definitely done worse before in declutter my wardrobe. Now I'm happy I've made space in my wardrobe and hopefully I'm gonna make a little bit of cash on vintage. These pieces that I've abandoned, maybe other people are gonna, you know, give love to. Um, yeah but anyway i hope this was enjoyable to watch like i said if you do fancy getting any of these pieces girl my vintage is on the screen it's on the description help yourself i have bundle offers on as well i've got the whole lot on vintage okay so yeah if you enjoyed watching i'd appreciate a like and subscribe my tiktok is also in the description so if you want to see i post quite a bit on tiktok so if you want to see a bit more of me maybe subscribe and follow me on tiktok i'd really appreciate it but yeah have a lovely day and girl get yourself a bargain off my vintage